Alright. Hop down here. Alright, now you could call this a minigame of sorts. Don't get caught by the guards. There's a specific route you need to take. Like, there's guards up there, so you want to come up here, behind this guard's back right here. Um, and you just want to kind of follow it, well, sort of follow this path, and you see there's a little rough surface over there. So you want to go over to this rough surface. You climb it. And then you climb up this hill. And you have successfully breached Hyrule Castle. Hop in the water here. You get rupees just for swimming around. A chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating, which is why we needed to wait. We need that chicken. Um, can you hit this tree and get a social out of it? Nah, okay. There's, there's something by that tree, but we can't do anything about it right now. Alright, so as you could guess, these are, these are movable. And so we need to move them so that we can get over there. But for right now, he's in the way. Mumble, mumble. Welcome. Our wrench is so fun. Come on, look around. Yeah, he's sleep talking. So what you want to do, take out your chicken. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Nalan was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Nalan behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. So you're gonna let your daughter boss you around. You're gonna let your daughter beat you up. Nice going. Alright. This is a very simple block puzzle. There's a lot hard, There's a lot of harder block puzzles in this game, so just... Yeah, don't worry about this one. This one's easy. Alright. So then you push it forward. Well, and Link could push blocks a little faster, but... Oh well. Not too worried. And... Off the edge you go. Just grab this. Pull it back. I am singing for no real reason. I don't even know what I'm singing. Alright. Almost there. Almost. Almost. And those are the sounds I like to hear. Ha! Ah. Alright. And in we shall go. Alright. So. What you gotta do here. There's more guards for you to avoid. Just don't let them see you and you'll be fine. Just kind of wait behind this, sneak around behind this hedge. Wait for him to turn around that way. Wait for him behind this hedge, wait for him to turn that way. And as soon as he turns, yep, there you go, and now we can move on. As you can guess, that was only the easiest. And now that we have two guards to deal with, I think I can... Yeah, I can go past him. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what you're supposed to, you can go you can try to go down there and get those rupees, but I usually don't bother with it. Just because it's way too risky. Alright, take this slowly. Crap! Oh god! Uh, okay, I missed oh crap. Um Okay. Let's see, he should go that way. Yep, alright, so now I can just come back up here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to take that risk. Okay. What you're supposed to do is you can see where the wood is quite plainly. I don't know what they were... I don't know if they were trying to hide anything. Oh, crap. Well, okay, well, now you get to see what happens when we get caught. I shoved outside that door. Yeah, which doesn't even look like a normal door sprite because it's not one. You can't go through it. Okay. Try this again. You're supposed to walk on the wood, but I'm. This the, the camera angle's weird, so I'm. I seem to be having trouble with it. Just wait here.
For any of you who've played uh, Phantom Hourglass before, I remember there was this one temple that you, is one of those, you know, you repeatedly come back to it. I didn't know that. That would rather when you collect them to blue. But yeah, in Phantom Hourglass, there's the, uh, um, what's not going to say? I wonder where we'll find the princess in this big old castle. Yeah. I remember, uh, for any of you who played Phantom Hourglass before, oh crap, no! Anyway, for any of you who've played Phantom Hourglass before, um, that game, uh, that has this one temple that you keep going back to repeatedly throughout the game, and it's basically one giant temple full of this. Like, that's pretty much it, except it's possible to escape when you, um, get caught by the phantoms, but... Yeah, that's a good, that's a completely different game that I will never, ever LP just because it's way too complicated. Because all the controls are on the touch screen and it's really hard to record that, that way. You know, it's just, no. That's just not going to work. And I decided, you know, just screw trying to go on top of it. There is, you can do it without getting on top. That's the way, you're, getting on top is the way you're supposed to do it, but, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, oh my god, wait a minute. Oh, okay, no it doesn't, okay, never mind. Alright, so yeah, you can, you can just do that if you want. Oh crap! Yeah, one of the guards moves slow, the other moves fast. What I, what, well, or no, they both move slow, never mind. This one is one of the more difficult ones. Alright. I'm gonna come over here. Wait for him to turn. And then move on. Here we have a different, slightly different camera angle. Still can't change camera angle, unfortunately. Now, this one I believe we have one fast moving and one slow moving guard. What I like to do is kind of trail behind the fast one. Oh no, they both move fast, never mind. Alright, and we are in the clear now. As long as you don't go, like, turn around. Um, so anyway, so before we go see the princesses up ahead, as you can see, but before we do that, I want to show you some Easter eggs. If you throw a slingshot, hit this window with, a, with your slingshot, you have a guard come in and say, hey, you don't cause any trouble, and he'll throw a bomb out at you. And then if you look in here, there are portraits of Mario, Bowser, and Peach. And if you and if you hit the window, you get a red ruby. So, with those Easter eggs shown, we shall now talk to the princess. Ooh. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Then are you are you from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the, the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone. Do you have it? Should we trust her? Yes, we should. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. And suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Oh yeah, we should definitely trust her. Considering the game is called Legend of Zelda. What is your name? D-Ray 05. Strange. Sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, d 5 I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. 
Please keep this a secret from everyone. Hmm, that sounds like something that certain moblins say in the original Legend of Zelda. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. Three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. Power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones, and I just dropped my controller. Let me just pick that back up. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. The entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And, and in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, and I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Sure. I mean, that's perfectly normal to spy through a window at a castle that you don't even live in. That somebody. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos, the hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did you see him? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule, know the entire world. You rise are five now. We are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. Thank you. I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. And one more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. This reminds me, apparently one of the other things about this game is that it's possible to lose Zelda's letter somehow. So, uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to lose that. So I'm going to leave my inventory. My attendant will guide you out of here, out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Uh, I shouldn't be afraid to talk to her? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite scared. I am Impa of the Shikas. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. <clears throat> you are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played the song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. And here we are learning our first ocarina song. She'll play the she'll play the song twice, 
Most of it's just three notes repeated. And then you just play it back. C buttons obviously make C buttons and A button are what makes the notes. <clears throat> Try to sing and failed. You've learned Zelda's a lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villages there before you go up this mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Wow, that's freaky. And with that, I am going to end this episode off here. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you do. Favorite it. I'm not sure what liking does, but it probably makes it, you know, go a little higher up in the search options, you know. Uh, anyway, that is the end of this episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master's Quest Blind Let's Play, even though there was nothing really blind about this part. So, next time, we'll be heading in that direction, and I will see you guys then.